Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing my Champions League group stage predictions. Basically, the group stage were made a few days ago and now we're just going to predict what the group stage are going to look like after the six matches that are going to be played. Six match days, I should say. So, let's get straight into this with group A, which, I mean... It's a pretty good group with Bayern München, Manchester United, Copenhagen and of course Galatasaray. So let's get straight into the team that I think is going to be fourth in this league group. Shit. I mean it just had to be Copenhagen. I really like them and I really want to go to their stadium this year and like witness a match because I think their fans are amazing. But let's be honest they're not going to be they're not going to be going anywhere in this group. They're not even going to go to the Europa League. They'll just be here for vibes. Okay, so before you all slew me in the comments, please let me explain. Man United third. I just think that Man United will get like a couple of injuries. I mean, they, they have a couple of injuries every single season. And I just think that Galatasaray could genuinely beat them. Because I think Galatasaray is such a good team at the moment. It's such an underrated team. I... I just, it's a little bit of a gut feeling basically because on paper, May United would definitely get out of this group. But like I said, I just have a gut feeling that Galatasaray will go through in this group. I mean, like I said, it, I already talked about them. Galatasaray have such a good squad. Like they genuinely have a Premier League squad at the moment. And let's be honest, May United can lose a few games that they probably should win so they do it every single season where they just have one or two games there where i personally think that they should beat the teams and then they just lose like two nil or something and i think the same will happen with galatasaray and this was genuinely one of the best easiest to predict like we all know bayern München will finish first in this group it's just that obvious so let's get straight into group b where we have arsenal Lens, PSV and Sevilla and last place in this group I personally think it will be Lens. they've lost so many really important players that I just don't think they'll get out of this group I just think they'll lose like almost every game and third place is Sevilla like we all know they're just gonna go back into the Europa League again and they're gonna win it again it happens so much like they've won the Europa League three times back to back like back to back to back because they just kept getting third in the champions league group and i think it will happen this year again it's just i think they'll go back to europa league and second place is a team that i wanted to go into the like i just wanted them to go to, into the europa league but psv i think i think they can go, go through like their squad is so good and if they get lozano back it's a pain it's a painful year to be an ix fan let's be honest and first place is arsenal i think that's probably the spot everyone's gonna put them i mean they have to be first like they don't really have that hard of a group it's still a good group don't get me wrong but for arsenal you should be first place now on to group c and group c consists of union berlin Napoli, Real Madrid and of course Braga and let's get straight into fourth because I think we all know what team is gonna be fourth and I mean I really like them but it had to be Braga like if there wasn't one particular group in this Champions League this would have been the group of death and I'm just kind of sad to see Braga be put in this group because I don't even think they'll be close to Europa League and in third place I had to put Union Berlin here they're my favorite team in Germany and their rise from like the seventh, second division to here is such a great story. But I just think the other two teams are better than them. And in second place, I have decided to put Napoli. I mean, their team hasn't really changed. They haven't lost any of their most important players. Ojiman is still there at the time of recording, of course. Varadzkelia is still there. And I genuinely think they're gonna go to the semi-finals this season. I think they'll get to the semi-finals. 
unless they'll get like City in the quarters or round 16, I think they'll get to the sec semis. But first place, I mean, Real Madrid uh, probably have one of the best teams in the world right now. And I just don't see them not winning every single game in this group. Like maybe they'll have a hard time against Napoli, but I still think they'll win. So Real Madrid first. So let's get straight into group D. I'm not even going to say the names of the teams anymore. I'm just going to go straight through them and I'm going to quick fire them just to make it a bit just make the video less long. Fourth place in Group D, it's Salzburg. Like, I don't even know any players out of my head that actually play for Salzburg. And let's be honest, they never really do well until they had Haaland, of course. When they had Haaland, they were amazing. But uh, yeah, I don't think they'll get that far this time. And third place, I mean... Like, last and third place in this group are basically the ones that I think are the most obvious. And Real Sociedad, I mean, I'm sorry, but you are better than Salzburg, but not than the other two. Second place, I do genuinely think Inter will finish second place. I don't know why. Last season, they were in the Champions League final. I, they had a pretty easy route to the final, actually. But I don't know. I just see them, like, only scoring one goal a game. And just drawing a lot so second place it is for them and the reason as to why enter our second is because benfica are first like their team is genuinely really really good and like i said before i just think inter will score only like one goal and draw a lot and i think benfica will probably win more games just i i don't know i don't even know what to say i just think benfica will win against Real Sociedad and I think Inter will draw and I think Inter and Benfica against each other will draw so that's why they're first. On to group F now and we start with fourth place. I'm, I just think Celtic is gonna go straight out of the Champions League. I don't think they'll make it any. We're close to the knockout stages and I think that I just think the other teams are better. And in third place I've put Feyenoord I just, it's it's tough to be an Ajax fan at the moment. Like your two biggest rivals being in the Champions League. Well, we have a really hard group in the Europa League. I just, I just think that, that Feyenoord will be third. And even though their last few seasons in the Champions League have been really bad, I do think that Atletico Madrid will be going into the knockout stages. Second place though, not first. And I quite like uh, this Atletico team. I just think, I mean, I just kind of want to see them actually play to their potential. And I think they will do so in the Champions League. And this may be really stupid, but first place I've put Lazio. And Lazio don't really have a good track record in the Champions League. But I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to do great this year. They've signed a couple of good players. They've sold a couple of players. I... Like, I genuinely don't really have a reason as to why I put them first. This one is just a complete and random guess. Next up is Group F, and I think I said Group F with Group E. That's my mistake. I'm sorry. But this is the actual group of death. This one will be the hardest to guess, basically, to predict. Like, the teams in it are Newcastle. AC Milan, Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain. This group is genuinely amazing. And if these teams were to be spread across other groups, I think all of them would go through to the next round. But we have to start with the fourth place and that is going to be AC Milan. Like they've lost a few players, like they've lost Tonali and Tonali is one of their best players that they've had and they signed Love this cheek to replace him. Like, like you need a Tonali, and I know his start to the Premier League hasn't been great, but he is genuinely amazing, and I think that the loss of him will genuinely weigh pretty hard on Milan. But don't worry, Tonali will be close enough to Milan because he is also not going to the knockout stage because Newcastle United are gonna finish third. I genuinely like. 
Milan could be second or first or anything, but I just see Newcastle finishing third. I just think it will happen. And in second place, I think Dortmund will finish second place. They have a really good squad. They almost won the Bundesliga last season. And they've just kind of improved their squad. They lost Bellingham, of course, but I, I'm i going to say something which English fans won't really like. I think Bellingham is a good talent, but I think Dortmund can really play without him and that he isn't that important to their system. And English fans will now call me the dumbest guy alive because I didn't say Bellingham was the best midfielder in the world. And even though they've lost like two of their best players in Neymar and Messi, I still think Paris Saint-Germain will finish top of this group. They just still have such a good team. They have such a good team and like every single player in this team is all, almost every single player in this team is world class. I, I would be surprised if they didn't go through. All right, we have two more groups to go. And before we go on to group G and H, I'm going to ask you guys to please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And if you enjoyed this video so far, and let's get straight into group G with Man City, RB Leipzig, that one team from Bosnia that I can't pronounce, and Young Boys. And the team that I can't pronounce is fourth place. I mean... I just think that the other three teams are way better. Like, they're not going to get any points. Like, I genuinely think that the most points they'll get is one point, and that's probably going to be a draw against Young Boys. And in third place, Young Boys is going to come back. And, well, let's be honest, the top two was already known well before because we already know that City probably rigged this because they just... I don't know why. They always get a simple group. Like, it... it doesn't make sense why do I oh, they never end up in the group of death or anything like I haven't seen them in the group of death in my lifetime this is probably the most easy group to predict Leipzig is gonna get second and City is just gonna dominate Leipzig are gonna destroy young boys oh that sounds really weird gonna destroy young boys and the other team it's it just it's clear that it's gonna happen and like I said before, City is just going to dominate this group because they've bought it. They just bought this group. I can't. Like, they, they can't not have bought this group. Like, come on. They genuinely can't. Like, how do they always get young, to play against young boys and somehow always get to play against Leipzig? I, and I, I'm not saying Leipzig is a bad team. I'm just saying that from the good teams, you want to get Leipzig. So City... Fair enough, they're going to go through. They're probably going to get to the final again. Let's get into the final group. Group H to get it with Barcelona, Porto, Shakhtar Donetsk and Royal Antwerp. And last place in this group, I mean Shakhtar. They, they're in a country that is in a war. Like They're not going to be playing well. And I feel really bad saying it, but they're going to be last place. Let's be honest here. And going into the Europa League, it's going to be Antwerp, in my opinion. They have a decent squad, but not good enough to go up against the other two teams that are above them. They're definitely going to beat Shakhtar. They're going to get, like, I think they're going to get, like, four points. And Shakhtar's going to get, like, two. And then they'll just go easily straight towards the Europa League. And I think that second place will be FC Porto. Like... They have a really good squad. They've lost like Otavio to Saudi, which Saudi, can you please just fuck off? No one's going to watch your stupid, stupid league. But we keep moving. I find it good enough for fans from Saudi that they have something to watch now instead of the quality that it was before. But Porto, back to Porto. They have a good team and it's just about good enough to, to make it to the Champions League knockout stages, I think. And I personally think that Barcelona will wipe the floor with all three other teams. They're just going to win every game. Maybe they'll draw or lose against Porto once. But I think they'll like win at least five games. At least. So, 
that was my predictions for the group stages let me know what teams i got completely wrong you're probably gonna say that i got man united wrong you're probably gonna say that i got ac milan wrong i got newcastle wrong let me definitely let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe you're gonna see more and then i'll see you around in a while good bye